Don't make this a bad experience, okay? Mommy's trying to be nice. <laughs> this could be so bad so quick. Are you gonna be a good boy? Hi everyone, welcome. I hope that you're doing really well today. Today I am coming to you to talk about eyelash primers. I'm going to share some that I have used, what I think of them, and I'm going to show you my all-time favorite. Can you guess? I bet you can guess. If you'd like to see the lash primers I'm talking about, then just keep watching. I am bravely trying to film this and leave the door open because it gets so hot in here. My big lights are the ones that I have down here. And I feel bad because the cats can't come in. I'm leaving the door open if they're good. It'll be trip that's bad. Many won't be bad. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, let's talk about eyelash primers. For a long time, I didn't use eyelash primers. And then I slowly getting more and more intrigued. My friend Mary from Glitzy Fritzy, I'm going to link her channel down below. She has always had the most amazing lashes. And she used the Lancome Sills XL, is that right? It's been a long time since I've used that, but that really is a nice lash primer. I don't like to spend a lot of money on mascaras or eyelash primers, so I went on search to find a good drugstore lash primer. That's about the time that they came out with the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Primer. This is a white base lash primer. I like the shape of the brush on this one, and I like the formula a lot. I did a showdown. Gosh, I don't know if that video is still up. I did one eye with the Lancome and I did the other eye with this and it was just about the same. So that was it. If I was going to use one, it was going to be this. But I kept having issues. I felt like I felt like the lash primers were straightening my lashes. And I am quite the mascara snob and I was quite the eyelash primer snob because if I'm going to curl my lashes, I don't want something that I'm going to put on to come in and straighten them right behind. So I quit using it for a while. And then I kept seeing people talk about this eyelash primer and that eyelash primer and how amazing it was and what it did for their lashes. And what I found was that I had better lash days if I used an eyelash primer, but I did not curl my lashes. I have not curled my lashes, I'd say in the past three to four months. And honestly, I have had such better lash days. For those of you that have been with me for at least a year, see how big Trip is? Say, say hi, Trippy. Here. Trippy, trippy. Say hi. Say hi. Yes. Minnie is huge. Okay. He's shy. I think the lights hurt his eyes. I have to remember not to touch my eyes because I'm actually allergic to cats. So that's fun. So I picked up several different lash primers. I got the NYX Big and Loud. This is the brush. I really like the smaller brushes because I can really get in here and get the inner parts of my eyes. I also got this from Koki, the Lash Boosting Primer. I got this on recommendation from my friend Kathy. I will also link her channel down below. Kind of a similar brush, really good formula. I really do like this one a lot. Then I picked up the Colossal Big Shot. This one is the only one that I have that is actually a black base. I really did like this for that reason, but I love this for my lower lashes. I just felt like it really intensified a lot when I would put mascara on my lower lashes. I also got the CoverGirl Lash Blast. This is the wand on it. And then I got the Voluminous Lash Paradise Primer, and this is pink has a slight pink tint to it. I was almost ready to make my eyelash primer video and tell you all which was the best, and I got this one. This is Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. Super Volume with Super Fruits. This is it, this is the brush, and I am here, I am here to tell y'all this 
is number one. This takes a mascara that I don't like, I'm ready to throw, because I have no patience with mascaras. They're either good or they're gone. That's it. This makes a good mascara great. This makes a bad mascara tolerable. It's not super fruit. It's like magic fruit. It is amazing. I have recommended this so many times. If you try this, you'll never even think about buying an expensive one again. This is amazing. Out of all the lash primers, the Essence is absolutely, would be the only one that I would ever use again. Would ever be the only, oh my God. This would absolutely be the only one I would ever use again. That's why I bought six, because I don't want to be without it. Number two, I'm going to show you these two, because they're both L'Oreal. They're both voluminous. This one is white. This one is pink. I think they're the same thing, but they put a little bit of pink dye in the Lash Paradise, and I think they are about the same except the brushes. And I do like the brush of the white one better. So I think they're basically the same except for the collar and the brush. And I do like this brush better. And if I was going to pick a number three, it would definitely be the Koki Lash Boosting Primer. I just, I wouldn't rebuy these. If the Essence, don't say that out loud, wasn't available. Shh, that's not going to happen. And the Voluminous wasn't then I would definitely get the Koki. This is really good. You do have to watch with this one. It gets a little too much on. I did find that I liked it better if I would wipe it off some. Those are my top three out of the ones that I've tried. This one I like better than the Lancome. This one I like just as well, and it's a fraction of the price, and this is really, really good too. If you're looking for a good one, get the Essence. It's amazing. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me and talking about lashes. I really appreciate it so much. I hope that you have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.